And a good afternoon, baseball fans. We welcome you. The 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional in IT here at East Cobb Complex in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Chris Aller doing the live play-by-play -play for you. It's the matchup of the ZT players and clubs. ZT Southeast going against the ZT Prospects national team. The Southeast club, Coach Tyler and company taking care of business here as the Southeast organization. will be the away team, the home team, the ZT Prospects national team under the direction of skipper Carlos Avila. Your umpires today, Mike will take care of business behind home plate. He'll call the balls and strikes and manage the game. Working with his partner, RJ, on the infield, our two umpires today, this weekend. It's Championship Sunday, the 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional NIT. Well, the matchups for you this afternoon on the defensive side, pitching for the prospects, Dre Murakami. Murakami, the right-handed hurler, he'll start things off for the club. Behind the plate, Mateo Monster Victorio. Over on the first base side, Ivan Ortiz. Second base. In the four spot, Aaron Ramirez. Over on third base in the five position, Easton O'Quinn. Shortstop, Charlie Blaylock. He'll manage things on the infield for the club. On the left field side, Trey Lawrence. Deep on the left side, center fielder, roaming things, taking care of business out in center field. Will be Carter Nash and rounding things out over on the right side will be Brody Taylor. That's your defensive set for the ZT Prospects 13U national team going against the Southeast ZT Club. And a good matchup here guaranteed this afternoon. To start things off, Cruz Guzman, the catcher, wears number 30. He'll start things off going against Stray Murakami. Quarterfinal matchup, championship Sunday here. It takes two to win this tournament. It takes one to move into the semifinal. Right now, quarterfinal matchup between the ZT organization. Stay with us, folks. We will be right back. And Murakami ready to go. First pitch here comes inside. Her ball missing there. The count is 1 and 0. Batter Guzman, right hander, steps back into the box. Pitch on the way. Fastball on the outside. The count goes to 2 and 0. So Murakami just trying to settle in here as promised a matchup between the ZT organizations this afternoon. As Dre Murakami starting things off here, if you're just joining us, we welcome you. Championship Sunday, the 2024 Perfect Games Super Regional NIT. Murakami low on the outer half. The count goes to 3-0. and And Murakami finds one up the middle, strike call. The count goes to three and one, so Murakami puts one on the books here. After three pitches, three balls here, Guzman steps back in, locked and loaded. Top of the first, quarterfinal matchup. Must win today, single elimination here on Championship Sunday. And upstairs Murakami goes. Guzman takes a cut, fouls it off and out of play. The 3-2 pitch, forthcoming for Murakami. Pitch on the way, high fastball upstairs. So Murakami will lose Guzman on a walk. 
And ZT Southeast Club has their first runner on board. Stepping in Brian Wisman, the two hitter, shortstop for the club. Guzman over on the first base side. Ivan Ortiz, first baseman, holding on. A good size lead. Ball is up on the inner half. The count is 1 0. So Murakami just trying to settle in. Coach Ronnie, quick visit out to the bump here way early as the southeast part of the ZT organization has got a runner on. Well, once again, we hope you're enjoying the 2024 Super Regional in IT brought to you by Perfect Game here at the East Cobb Complex. My name is Chris Aller doing the play by play. You can catch us on YouTube channels and the Facebook page for ZT Organization. Also, to learn more about what's going on in the world of Perfect Game Baseball, go to perfectgame.org. The 2024 season is upon us here, and organizations competing in Super Regional NITs, the winner of these events, get an automatic bid into the PGI National Championships at the end of the season. So meaningful tournaments for all orgs that come in and play, and opportunity for clubs to get a chance and get their feet grounded and on their way through the 2024 season. We're here at the East Cobb Complex, a beautiful destination. Turf fields, perfect weather today. Light breeze coming in from center field, but ideal conditions. So Murakami working from the stretch here. Throw over to the first base side and like that. A broken play. It looked as though Guzman was diving back and somehow got tripped up. And Ortiz slaps on the tag, there's one out. So they lose the runner. <laughs> and a strike called there, so Murakami gets one back. Ball's popped up, foul, out of play. The count goes to one and two. And Murakami. Up and in on the batter, Wisman. The count is two and two. And a ball's hit shortstop side. Blaylock should have a routine play across the deck in time. So Blaylock, 6 3 on the out. And the prospects put Two out on the books here. Good work, good work, Kowski. Stepping in the three hitter, Mahone, third baseman for the club. And two outs here in the top of the first, no score. Curveball in for the strike. A good looking pitch there located for Murakami. Ball had good movement as Mahone took a look there. And the count is 0 1. Murakami will work ahead. And a ball's upstairs, up and out. Gets the high part of the zone on the outer half. And Murakami has got a two strike count on Mahone. Chopper, one hop into the glove, across the deck is in time. They go one, two, three here. Good defensive play over on the third base side, Easton O'Quinn. Five, three on the out. Well, stay with us. The ZT Prospects National Team will get on the offensive side of the plate. ZT Southeast will be down the defense. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
Well, as we come back to live action here on the defensive side for the ZT Southeast Club, pitcher of record, Seth Campion. Take care of business there, catching Cruz Guzman in the catcher's position over on the first base side, Aiden Mulder in the second base position. Jameson Bissav over on the third base side. Justin Mahone out in left field, Zach Fugate. Center field, Reed Gilmore rounding things out in right field, caller helping. We're ready to go. Charlie Blaylock will lead things off. Seth Campion runs the outer half of the plate. The count's 1-0. Campion comes inside, and the count goes to 2-0. and Interesting backstory. Zeth has played with the ZT Prospects national team. A lot of these young players, they're good friends of each other and hang out, have played together multiple times. As Charlie Blaylock, well hit into the gap, left center. That's a deep ball. And to the fence line. And Blaylock will in... End up at a double, stand up there. A well hit ball for Charlie, he ends up with a double. So Blaylock starts things off for the national team. And stepping into Teo Victorio, AKA Monster, with Charlie Blaylock in good speed out on second base. Bryant Wisdom, the shortstop. Guys shaking hands out there. Obviously, it's a friendly game, but competitive nonetheless to ZT organization Southeast going against the West Coast. Victorio steps in. Wisdom in tight in the back pocket of Blaylock, shuffling around a little bit there. Copy on deals, runs it outside. The count is 1-0. Campion works from the stretch. Wisdom again shuffling around. He'll range up and roll off. Ball swung on. Fouled straight back and out of play. So Nateo takes a cut. Spin move, tag is on and back in time. So Campion with a good move back to second. Wisdom had him, he was on the inside part of the plate and Blaylock dives back in as RJ makes the call. So a good competitive move for Campion. Pitch on the way, ball's ripped to the right side and fair. We'll go to the corner over on the right side of the field. Rounding third is Blaylock, and good wheels into second base. He's going to go for three. He's on the move. There's no play there, and Nateo Victorio gets in with a triple and an RBI. Stepping in Easton O'Quinn with Victorio and a triple. And the RBI there, the Prospects national team strike first. It's 1-0. Stepping in, Easton O'Quinn. O'Quinn takes a chop, fouled to the left side, and no play. The count is Copian, curveball outside missing. The count goes to one and one on deck for the prospects national team. Trey Lawrence. Lawrence jumping back into the uniform this weekend. And a ball pulled foul to the third base side. And Copian. Coach Avila putting his hand out there. Might have lost it if it would have tagged him. That, that wasn't the ball you wanted to grab barehanded, but good power in O'Quinn. Carlos smiling, let it go. So Mike, our umpire, puts it back in play. The one-two count. And strike three on the outside, Campion. Delil's the curveball. 
And Zeth gets the first out there for the club. Well-pitched ball. Trey Lawrence will step in with one down. And Victorio over on the left side. Everybody ready, everybody ready. Make a play. 1-0 count to Lawrence. Pitch on the way. Wells hit to the left side. Ball go foul. So no play there as Lawrence takes a cut, pulls it foul to the third base side. So Kopian evens things up, a 1-1 count. Lawrence steps out. Baseball down the line there. They'll bring that one in, and we'll be ready to go. Mike puts it back in play. Lawrence in the box. Campion ready to deal. The 1-1 pitch. Well, that ball is deep. That ball's got lots of lift to it. All the way back to the batter's eye to the fence. Here comes Nateo. And on his way to third, the throw, a good arm. And like that, Trey Lawrence. Deep ball to center field right to the batter's eye at 380. Bounced before and jumped into the fence line. He'll get a long fly. A triple in an RBI. The Brody Taylor looks at a strike. Campion works ahead. And a ball hit to the right side. That'll drop in down the first base line into right field. And checking up is Brody Taylor. It looked like he was rounding. Lawrence will come in from third, and Taylor gets a single RBI. Dre Murakami, the pitcher of record. We'll step in and hit. Murakami hits here in the sixth spot. Brody Taylor over on the first base side. Aiden Mulder, the first baseman, holding him on. Taylor with good speed. Compion to deal. Fastball's up and in. The count is 1-0. and So Zeth, a good pitcher. And bats seem to be continuing to work for the national team. And a ball hit to the first baseman. Should have an out there. And so a good defensive play. So Mulder handles that one. And Murakami will have a seat. He'll advance the runner in Brody Taylor. Taylor will move up 90 feet to second base as Aaron Ramirez steps in. Wisdom in tight in Brody Taylor's pocket. He'll roll off. Pitch on the outside. Hey, right here, guys. Here we go. And a ball outside. Compion working the outer half of the plate. Seth just needs to make a subtle adjustment, bring it in. And as the count is 2 and 0. Oh. And Ramirez takes it. Lower part of his uniform. And Ramirez will get on board with a walk hit by pitch. Brings up Ivan Ortiz. Ivan Ortiz hits in the eighth spot for the club. Chopper, there's one there, and that's all they needed. So Wisdom takes care of it, but the prospects strike first. They pick up three, we'll head to the top of the second.
Go back to live action here. Murakami and the Prospects national team. On the offensive side of things, their first at bat here in the bottom of the first inning. And four hits, three runs scored. And the bat staying active for the national team here as we're into Championship Sunday. A must-win situation for either club to move on. We're in a quarterfinal matchup here. Ironically, two ZT organizations facing one another, the Southeast Group under the direction of Coach Tyler and Coach Carlos over on the ZT Prospects national team side from the West Coast. So the 4 5 6 hitter, Collar Helton, will step in. Right fielder ready to go. Righty lefty matchup as we're ready to start the top of the second. And a ball outside. The count's 1 0. Oh. And a pitch on the outer half, locates there, strike call. The count goes even to one and one, so Murakami puts one up on the boards here. Helton back in, locked and loaded. Murakami goes outside, the count is two and one. And a good stroke there and fouled off to the left side. The count goes even to two and two. Mike, our head umpire, and everybody know the count here at two and two, doing a fine job for perfect game this weekend. Fly ball, shallow, Blaylock rolling off from the shortstop position, makes the grab. So Charlie Blaylock rolls off into the turf. High flyer on the infield, makes the out. One down. Jamison steps in for the club, number 22, the five hitter, second baseman for the Southeast CT club. Two one count. And Murakami locates the outer half with the fastball. Correction one two count. Like our umpire giving us the numbers there. And a ball swung on. Jamison takes a cut, fouls it off to the right side and out of play. And the count holds at one and two. Victorio setting up way outside. And the ball gets through there and the count goes to two and two. Time is called. Might have been a mix-up on what the pitch call was as Victoria walks out to talk to Murakami for a second. Well, great baseball going on throughout the day today. The championship Sunday for all divisions. The 14 U teams are playing as well. Some of the younger kids on the lower fields here. And, of course, the 13 U division here. Championships matchup here. ZT clubs going after one another. The quarterfinal matchup. 
And a ball hit low on the bar to the barrel. Jamison takes a cut there, fouls it off. The count holds it two and two. And a ball outside, low in the zone. The count goes full at three and two. So Jamison steps back in with a full count. And a ball is low, so Jamison's on board. Murakami puts him on with a walk. And stepping in, Reed Gilmore. So Jamison over on the first base side, throw over, and diving back in. Jamison gets back in time. And a strike on the outside. Gilmore takes a look there. The count is 0 and 1. Ivan Ortiz, the first baseman, holding on. Jamison over on the first base side. Murakami shaking off here, works from the stretch. Back pick though there, a high throw for Victoria. And Jamison gets back. The count goes even to one and one. Jamison with an average lead here. Shuffling around a little bit. Murakami, a long hold there. Another tag on. Ortiz puts it on there and Jameson gets back in time. Gilmore seen one pitch, correct two pitches. And a strike call, low part of the zone. The count is one and two. High fastball, count goes to two and two. One out here in the top of the second, if you're just joining us this afternoon, catching us live on YouTube or CT Baseball Organization Facebook page, the 2024 East Cobb Perfect Game Super Regional NIT. Championship Sunday, Murakami ready to go, the 2-2 pitch. Ramirez, they're gonna go one there. All the way across is not in time, good effort. They get the advancing runner, and Jamison Gilmore will get on board. Seth Compion steps in. Seth. Pitcher of record. Throw back to first, and that gets away. And out of the glove of Ortiz, a little bit of a jam up there down on the first base side on the pick move. As I stated earlier, Campion played with the 13U national team, Prospects Club, uh, the West Coast now here, based in this part of the country. And Playing for the Southeast group. A long hold for Murakami. Pitch on the way. Curveball on the outside. The count goes to 0 and 1. And Gilmore over on first base. Ball's outside. The count goes even to 1 and 1. Prospects national team. Ramirez got it started. They tried to turn two, but Gilmore got there in time. They got the advancing runner. That's where your out came from. Time is called. It's granted. No pitch there. As Mike grants it to Compion. 
he steps out quickly there, and Murakami looked like he was just ready to stride it out. Victorio sets up, falls upstairs, the count is two and one. So two one count. Gilmer at first, Ortiz holds him on. Curveball inside part of the plate, locates there. The count goes to two and two with the two outs. Runner goes. Swing and a miss, tag there, that'll do it. Drop three, so. They'll take the out and turn the side over. We'll head to the bottom of the second at the ZT Prospects 13U National Team. In command here at 3 0 over the ZT Southeast. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. Well, we're ready to go here in the bottom of the second inning. If you're just joining us, the ZT Prospects 13U national team out of the West Coast going against the Southeast Club. Coach Tyler, ZT versus ZT. As stepping in, number 12, Carter Nash. Carter Nash, they go 9 10. Time was called. So Compion's got. Is sliding him in the back of his pocket, and Mike said, no, 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 no pitch there. And the ball's outside. Just missing. On the outer half, the count is 2-0. and oh. Carter steps back in. And ball four there. So Nash gets on board with a walk. And that'll bring up number 24, Bryant Mambajou. Compion will work from the stretch. Holder over on first base holds him on. Mamba looks at a strike. Compion works ahead. The count is 0-1. On deck for the Prospects national team, Charlie Blaylock. Back to the top of the order here as Bryant hits in the 10 spot for the club. Nash with a good size lead on the move. A good throw, high throw, gets in towards center field, and a good move on the shortstop side, cutting over. Save that one was Bryant Wisdom.
So Nash over at second base. Those to in tight there. Pitch on the way. High fly ball. To the left side and out of play. One, two count. Compion takes a look at second, throw back. And that gets through. Backing up was the second baseman. So Jamison backs that up. And Bryant takes a cut. Fouls it off to the left side. And another throw back to second base. Carter Nash gets back in time. So Mamba steps back in. A one two count on him. Compion takes a look. Wisdom rolls off. High fly ball. It ball's deep. Left fielder backing up under it. Should have a routine grab there. A little bit of wind up there. Not the left fielder. Zach Fugate makes the grab. A one out. And Charlie Blaylock will step in with Carter Nash over at second base. Charlie looks at a strike, Compion works ahead. The count is 0-1. Wisdom on the shortstop side, as I said, playing in tight on Carter Nash. And Charlie takes a cut, fouls it back. The count is 0-2. Again, Charlie on it. Blaylock takes another cut and fights one off. Compion with an 0-2 count on him. We're here in the bottom of the second inning. 3-0 prospects. They put their runs up in the first, as I mentioned earlier, on four hits, three runs out of the deal. Compion ready to go. A lot of look at second. Pitch on the way. High fly ball. And underneath, a little trouble there. And Zeth gets under it in time and makes the grab. All right, let's get third out right now, right now, let's go. So two down, Compion makes the out himself. Comes off the mound there and high pop-up will bring up Monster Victorio. So Natale will step in with Carter Nash parked at second base. A lot of cat and mouse there. Wisdom rolls off. Compion lets the fastball fly in the outer half. Misses there. The count's 1-0. Beautiful conditions here today in East Cobb. Light breeze, perfect temperature. And Monster takes another swing. And the count is one and one. The two outs for the ZT Southeast Club. Compion with a 1-1 one, one count on Victorio. And Mateo lays off. Compion locates a good-looking pitch on the outside part of the plate. Victorio takes a look, and the strike is called. Hey, one more kid, one more kid. So one-two count with two outs. Carter Nash, decent lead with some rolls off. No coverage there. Victorio deep to center field. Center fielder backing up. Should have a routine grab there. And that'll do it. So one, two, three. I'll turn the side. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The Southeast Club will get on the offensive side here in the top of the third.
So Zeth Kompian in the Southeast Club will get on the offensive side. Zeth pitched a solid inning. Last outing there in the bottom of the second inning. Stranded one. And Murakami will take his warm-ups. will be ready to go to the top of the third. So our head umpire, Mike, puts it in play. We're ready to go. ZT Southeast will go 8-9-1. Aiden Mulder, the first baseman, will step in. Righty-lefty matchup on deck. Fugate, Zach will hit the nine spot. Pitch on the way. Ball pulled foul right into the dugout of the national team. Count is always one. Umpire Mike having a little chat, fun time with Coach Ronnie. A foul ball in the dugout. Time is called, granted at home plate. Baseball's coming a premium around here. Joking around in the dugout. I said, I'm going to put that in my backpack. Murakami ready to go. Ball missing outside. The count goes to one and one. Mulder looking to get something started here in the top of the third for the Southeast Club. I mentioned the eight hitter, first baseman. A long look for Murakami. Victorio sets up, pitch on the way. Ball swung on, fouled off to the left side and out of play. Count goes to a ball and two strikes. Sunshine, blue skies. A little hectic here on Thursday with high winds, rain, and then Friday the wind was really howling. Of course, the Masters going on here. Sunday, big tournament over in Augusta. Ball pulled foul to the right side. If you're into golf, it's been great. It's been spectacular shots and, of course, tremendous crowds here. And Augusta enjoying the Masters best in the game are represented. But now our focus is on baseball. Springtime means baseball. Pitch on the way. Ball outside. So Aiden lays off there and the count goes to two and two. Ball is low. He says, no, I'm not going there. Count is full of three and two. So Mulder lays off. Murakami tried to get him to chase the low part of the pitch. And lower part of the zone. The 3-2 pitch. And a ball out. So Mulder gets on board with a walk. So Aiden's on board 90 feet down to first base. And that'll bring up the nine hitter, Zach Fugit. Fugate will step in with Mulder over on the first base side. Ortiz for the national team holds him on. Murakami working from the stretch. Fun attempt there. He did go at the plate and a strike call. And a ball hit shallow to the right side. Charging is Brody Taylor. And Taylor comes up from the right field side and makes the out. One out, Murakami deals there, runs it on the outside. Top of the order. There's Guzman, the catcher. Looks at a ball, 1-0 count. Mulder over at first base. 
Strike on the outside. Count goes even at one and one. Ortiz holding on Mulder over on first. Murakami takes a look, pitch on the way. Breaking ball missing there, low part of the zone. Guzman lays off. And the count goes to two and one. Mulder taking a couple of extra steps off of first base. And a ball hit through. That gets through. And so like that, Guzman, the leadoff hitter, gets it through on the shortstop side. Having the 5-6 hole there. So a single for Guzman. Runners at first and second with one out here. We'll bring up the two hitter, Bryant Wisdom, the shortstop. So Bryant steps in, facing Murakami. Go, Bryant, go to work. Time granted at the plate. Wisdom steps out, we're ready to go. Murakami, defense is ranged up. And Blaylock with a good play there. They get one, long throw is safe at first. But a great defensive play for Charlie Blaylock, but Mulder will advance to third. They get one out. Hey, do a job right here, let's go one, come on. Runners at the corners with two down. Mulder at third, Wisdom at first. Ball swung on, fouled straight back. One count. Three hitter Mahone. Balls upstairs. The count goes to one and one. Mahone, the three hitter, plays third base for the Southeast Club. Throw back to first. Tag is on. Infield umpire. RJ says, no, he's back in time. Wisdom dives back in. And the count is one and one here with two outs in the top of the third. Southeast knocking on the door here with an opportunity scoring position. Breaking ball low part of the zone. The count is one and two. So Mahone takes a swing on the lower part of the pitch and low part of the plate. And the one-two count. Runner on the move. And they thought they had a strike called. Victorio thought he had it. Ball was out a little bit. So the count is two and two with two outs in the top of the third. Wisdom moves up 90 feet and they've got runners at second and third. Murakami takes a long look here. The defense is ranged up with two outs. Murakami looks over at second, pitch on the way. And Murakami didn't want to let that happen. And now the bases are loaded. So on board, they hit by pitch. And stepping in Lucas Blasbang, I believe subbing in. So Blasbang hitting in the position with Helton was hitting. As Mahone was the three hitter. 
Helton's the four hitter, but Boxing Lucas will step in. He looks at a strike on the outside. The count is 0 and 1. A 1-1 one, one count here on, guys. We're on the to ground. Lucas. On the ground. And Murakami low on the outside part of the plate. The count goes to 2-1. and one. And a strike called there. So Murakami evens it up here at two and two to the batter. Lucas on the top of the third 3-0 prospects, but the Southeast Club knocking on the door here with two outs and the base is loaded. The 2-2 pitch on the way. Murakami outside and low. So a full count. And a high leverage moment here for Murakami and the national team. And the Southeast Club and Lucas at bat. And a full count. And Murakami will walk one in. So Mulder comes in from third and Lucas comes in to hit. Murakami walks him, but they'll bring one over. So one run crosses on a walk to the batter, Lucas. So Jamison steps in with the bases loaded still for the Southeast Club. Murakami walked one in. Time is called. Mike grants it at home plate. It's not required that the umpire grants it to the batter. We've seen those situations where the batter thinks he got it granted, steps out, and a strike's thrown. Third base side. Should be routine play there. Easton O'Quinn will take it, but they'll walk one in. The Southeast Club gets on the board. It's 3-1. Right at the bottom of the third. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. Well, back to live action. We're ready to go here in the bottom of the third inning. Starting things off for the ZT Prospects 13U national team, Easton O'Quinn, the third baseman. Unassisted, tagged the bag to get the third out. 
over at the top of the third with an opportunity for the Southeast Club. They had the bases loaded. Murakami walked one in. That's where they picked up their first run. It's 3-1 as Easton O'Quinn will step in facing Zeth Kampian. He'll look at a ball. The count is 1-0. Kampian, so far here, two and a third here in the bottom. And a ball swung on, fouled off to the right side, and out of play. The count goes even at one and one. Mike, our head umpire, throws one in. Compion's got it in his glove. They'll bring it in over here to Trey, the coach for the ZT national team over on the first base side. Carlos Avila on the third base side. Compion to deal, pitch on the way. Fastball, low in the outer part of the plate. The count goes to two and one. So O'Quinn has had a good tournament so far. The 2-1 pitch. And that ball's deep, backing up. Center field's got to move forward. He thought it was deeper and a good adjustment there. He backed up first as if he was going to take a route going deep. But Reed Gilmore makes the grab. The first out's recorded on the books. So O'Quinn will fly out to center. And that'll bring in number one, Trey Lawrence. One out here, bottom of the third. Winner moves on to the semifinal game. And a ball in the inner half. Lawrence laid off. It takes three to get to the title here today. Two to get to the title, three to win it. Strike on the outside, Lawrence takes a look. Shortstop side, Wisdom, one hopper in his glove, throws the crosses in time. So they go 1-2 here so far. So Jeff Compion making quick work of it. They've got two down here. That brings up Brody Taylor. Taylor got a single as last at bat. Taylor trying to get on board here. Ball is low. The count goes to two and one. As I mentioned, Brody got a singles last at bat. Murakami on deck here with two outs. Ball is up. Curveball in for the strike. So Compion, good looking pitch there. And ball four. So Compion loses Brody Taylor down to the first base side. So Taylor gets on board 90 feet with a walk. And that'll bring in Trey Murakami. Murakami, the pitcher so far for the ZT Prospects national team. Taylor with good speed. High fastball up in the zone. The count is 1-0. and Aiden Mulder, the first baseman for the Southeast Club, holding him on. It's 3-1. Ball's low on the inner half. Compion runs inside. Count's 2-0. Two, oh. two outs. Throw over to the first base side. Taylor gets back in. Murakami chops foul to the right side. Count is two and one. Murakami looking to get a hit. He got out his last at bat. Aaron Ramirez on deck. Curveball up. 
Now it goes to three and one. So Mike letting the dugouts know our three one count here. Gray Murakami, Compion from the stretch, looks over at the first base side. Brody Taylor, decent lead, throw back to first. First baseman Aiden Mulder makes the grab. Taylor gets back in in sufficient time. Taylor's got good speed. He takes a couple of extras there. Pitch on the way. Ball's outside, ball four. So two walks back to back for Campion. So back to back walks there for Zeth and Coach Tyler heads out to the bump to have a word with Zeth. So Aaron Ramirez will step in, and Ramirez lays off there, and the count is 1-0. and Falls outside. Counts 2-0. and Ramirez got hit by pitch. Compion. Got the inner part of his uniform, not a real hard pitch, but enough to walk him and put him on board. Wisdom rolls in tight and strike on the inner part of the play. Compion runs the inner half. And the count goes to two and one on Ramirez. Taylor at second. And strike outside. Josiah Park running for Murakami, the pitcher over on the first base side, Taylor at second. The 2-2 count with two outs. Well hit ball, gets through the gap on the center field side. And here comes Brody Taylor going to third. They could have a play there. And Josiah Park with good wheels gets into third and Ramirez gets on with a single in an RBI. So the prospects, national team, pick up their fourth here on Ramirez's single. Ivan Ortiz will step in with runners at the corner. And a strike on the inside. Zeth Kampian locates there, a good looking pitch. Count is 0-1. No throw at second. Ramirez gets in in plenty of time. Thought might have been the ball was going to be thrown down, so he laid it out. No throw. Ramirez moves up 90 feet. Shortstop, backhand grab, a long throw, a one hopper is in time. Mulder with a good grab and a good pick on the one hop. They'll strand two, but they pick up one. It's 4-1 as we head to the top of the fourth. The ZT Prospects, 13U national team under direction of skipper Carlos Avila over the Southeast Club and Coach Tyler. Stay with us. It's a good one. We'll be right back.
And back to live action here, top of the fourth inning. They go 5-6-7 for the Southeast Club. Jamison ready to go. Murakami, Murakami stays on the bump. Call one, the count's 1-0. and oh. And the ball's low on the outside. The count is 2-0. Oh. So a 2-0 -oh count. 2-0 -oh count to Jamison. Pitch on the way. Strike on the outside. So the count is 2-1 to the batter. To the five-hitter, Jamison. 2-1 count. Murakami to deal. Pitch on the way. Ball hit to the right side. Brody Taylor's going to have to charge that one, and he does. From the right side. In the right field. Made the move, so Jamison will fly out to Brody Taylor. First out. First out, Jamison was the first batter. Jamison just hit in the five spot. And hit by pitch. Correction there, that was Reed Gilmore that flew out. And Zeph Compion gets hit by pitch. So Compion gets on board, pitcher. Aiden Mulder steps in. Strike called there, count is 0-1. Runner goes, good throw down to second, the tag is on. And safe. So Ramirez thought he had him. And Compion sliding in. Gets in with a stolen bag. So Mulder, the eight hitter, fouls it off. Compion's at second on a stolen base. And the ball's low, walking out. Victoria wants to have a quick word. So a full count to Mulder, and the count is three and two, the runner at second. Zeph Compion over there, Mulder the eight hitter, the three two pitch forthcoming. A look at second, defense is ranged up, pitch on the way. Slow roller, 
foul in the box at the plate calls our head umpire. Mike will bring back Aiden. Ball four, so Murakami loses the eight hitter Mulder, the first baseman, as he walks him with one out here. Time is called, it's granted at home plate, stepping out the nine hitter. Zach, runners at first and second with one out. National team, Murakami looking for their second out here. Pitch on the way. Strike up the middle, the count's 0-1. Murakami will work ahead. And a ball pulled, foul. And the ball's foul. So foul called down the third base side, very close there. And the count is 0-2, so our head umpire makes the call. So Fugate will step back in. And Murakami's got an 0-2 count. Fugate ready to go. Zach ready to go. Murakami takes a look. It's second. Pitch on the way. And strike three called there. So stepping in. Mahone, Correction Guzman, number 30, steps in. Top of the order for the Southeast Club. Runners at first and second, and Mulder and Compion at second. Balls on the inside, the count is 1-0. And a ball hit to the right side, deep Brody Taylor backing up, and there's trouble there to the fence. Here comes Compion, there's one over. And in with a double is Guzman. So Guzman goes deep to the right side, and Brody Taylor's got to go to the fence. And Cruz ends up with a double and an RBI as Mulder ends up at third. Time is called. Coach Ronnie out to the mound. That might be it for Murakami. We'll see. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
So Mason Muller comes in to take over on the hill, the lefty, and facing Bryant Wisdom, the two hitter with runners at second, third, and two out. So the Prospects national team trying to minimize the damage here on the other side, trying to extend the inning. Pitch on the way. And a hard fit ball to the right side and fouled off. So a lot of power in that swing. And the ball's hitting the gap, a long pass. There comes one, and here comes two. And like that, Wisdom deals. And it's a 4-4 tie. So the situation getting interesting now, and a 4-4 tie. The count is 1-0 and oh to Mahone with Wisdom at first. And swing and a miss on the outside. So Mason Moeller comes in. Murakami owns those runs. But Wisdom on the first base side with a 1-1 count on him and two outs. National team trying to get out of this one. Pitch on the way. Check swing, lays it out. The count is two and one. Hey, go to work, Costin, go to work. Ball's popped up. Count goes to two and two. Battle, kid. Hey, best stuff, kid. Best stuff, one. Come on. Runner goes, high throw, no tag. So full count here, three and two. So a high leverage moment here on both sides of the plate. Muller ready to go. Wisdom at second, there's two outs. It's a 4-4 tie. Third base side, one hop there across the deck is in time. So Easton O'Quinn will take it, but the Southeast Club strikes. They tie it up, it's 4-4. It's a good one, folks. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
So Carter Nash takes advantage there, goes deep to left field. And the left fielder just looked like he just wasn't on the ball and didn't see it. And then they struggled a little bit getting it in. And Nash ends up at third with a triple. Stepping in Bryant Jew. Bryant ready to go. Compion still on the hill. Pitch on the way. Fastball up in the zone. The count is 1-0. So Mamba lays off a 2-0 count. So a 3-0 count to Mamba. Southeast Club tied it up in the top of the fourth. Wisdom with a single, but runners were at second and third were able to score on a long single to tie it up. The count is three and one. And now the count goes full to Bryant. On deck for the Prospects national team, Charlie Blaylock. Carter Nash with a triple. Nash was walked his last at bat. Bryant got out his last at bat. Now he's trying to get on board. And another chop foul. So Compion and Mamba going after it. A 3-2 count. Compion's working quickly here as Bryant steps in. Ball's outside, ball four. So Bryant will get on board with a walk. Compion loses him 90 feet down to first base. And Charlie Blaylock will step in. That might be it for Compion. In fact, he's looking at Coach Tyler. He'll hand the ball off. That'll do it. A good job for Zeth Compion, though. Did a fine job pitching so far. And taking over number 44. So 44, Collar Helton will re-enter. And he'll take over on the mound. So a few warm-up tosses from Helton, and we'll be ready to go. A good one, folks. We'll be right back. So the pitching change is made here for the ZT Southeast Club. Left-handed pitcher, Collar Helton, steps in. Helton was playing right field. He'll face the top of the order here with no outs. Charlie Blaylock will step in. The runner at first and third. Josiah Park at first. And looks at a strike. Charlie Blaylock, the count is 0-1. And the ball's low on the inner half. The count goes to 1-1. One one. Carter Nash at third. Got the triple. And 
a strike on the outside, so Blaylock. Count is one and two. Josiah Park running for Mamba, the catcher of record. As Mamba was walked. And we're at the top of the order, as mentioned. Pitch on the way. And a ball is up. The count goes even to two and two. So Nash at third, Josiah Park at first. A 4 4 tie in the bottom of the fourth, a 2 2 count. Helton came in for Compion. The lefty ready to go here. A lefty lefty matchup. Ball's outside. So the count goes full to Charlie Blaylock. Hey, best up, kid. Best up. Runner goes. Blaylock to the right side. That could drop in. That's trouble there. Here comes Carter Nash. Blaylock's got good speed at first. They're going to hold up Josiah Park. And they shut him down at third. But Charlie Blaylock comes through. He gets a deep single. A right center and an RBI. So the Prospects national team picks up their fifth with no outs in the bottom of the fourth. Runners at the corners. Stepping in Monster Victorio. Good speed in Blaylock at first. Hilton's got a good look over on the first base side. Runner on the move. Ball is up. There'll be no throw to second. Blaylock gets in. So he moves up 90 feet to second base. Josiah Park at third. And Victorio looks at a 1-0 count. Ball's outside. So 2 0 count. Helton working behind here. As Victorio steps back in. A lefty lefty matchup again with runners in scoring position with no outs. Ball is low on the outer half. The count goes to 3 0. And a strike there on the inner half of the plate. Good location for Helton. He gets one back. The count goes to three and one. Ball four. So Helton loses Victorio. Here we go. Hey, work ahead, work ahead. And he'll end up 90 feet at first base with a walk, and that'll bring up Easton O'Quinn. They're going to run for Victorio and stepping in Habiki Suzuki to run over on the first base side. You've got Suzuki, Blaylock, and Park at one, two, and three. Pitch on the way. Low on the inner half. The count's one and oh. So Quinn jumps away from that low pitch with no outs. And a ball to the second baseman. There's one there. And they get two. So they turn two there. Good job right there, guys. So Trey Lawrence steps in. Curveball in for the strike. Count is 0-1. Blaylock in scoring position for the prospects over on the third base side. Hilton works ahead. The count is 0-1. And a low part of the zone. And a play at home. And out at home. They thought Blaylock was going to try to take it. And they got the ball in in time. So Blaylock gets picked at home trying to steal. And they'll leave one on the bases. But they pick up one. It's a 5-4 game. It's a good one, folks. Stay with us. We'll go to the top of the fifth.
Well, back to live actions, a 6-4 game. Got a correction there. We've got the official scoring there, 6-4 national team. And over the Southeast Club, stepping in number 44 to start things off. They'll go 4-5-6. Helton, who was the right fielder to start with, comes in pitching. And we're ready to go. Curveball just missing on the outside part for Muller. The count is 1-0. and It's a good matchup here so far. And a ball missing outside. Count is 2-0. and oh. And the ball's low, so Moeller, three pitches, three balls. And again, pitching here a premium, but it's a must-win situation. If you want to save your horses for wherever you can get to, but you got to get there first. Helton steps out and back in. The 3-0 pitch right up the middle. The count is 3-1. and one. So hitters count still for the batter. Caller Helton. As the Southeast Club going 4-5-6 here in the top of the fifth. High fly ball in the gap. A good route under the ball there in center field. The grab is made. So Carter Nash takes care of business there. They've got their first out on the books. So Nash makes the grab, puts the one out on the books here for the national team, and stepping in is number 22, Reed Gilmore. And a strike there. Moeller will start ahead in the count at 0-1. And a ball swung on, fouled off to the right side and out of play. Count is 0-2. Correction is Jamison steps back in. Jamison at bat. And the ball's low. The count's 1-2. and two. Prospects national team would like to make quick work of this one. On the other side, the Southeast Club. Knocking on the door here, chasing to its 4-6 national team. Time is called. It's granted at home plate. Mike says, sure, go ahead. You can step out. Count is a ball and two strikes. And Muller tries to run a curveball. No movement there. It hung up out on the outside part of the plate. The count's two and two. Jameson, the five hitter, Gilmore on deck with one out. Pitch on the way. Ball's pulled foul to the third base side. So Jameson takes the cut again, fouls it off to the right side and out of play. Time is called at the plate. Moeller will step off. Ball's popped in. Moeller off the mound, under the ball. Grab is made. So Moeller handles it himself.
with two outs on the books. The six hitter, Reed Gilmore, will step in. Bases cleared. We're in the top of the fifth. The Prospects 13U national team leading the Southeast Club 6 4. Muller starts upstairs with the ball. The count is 1 0 to Gilmore. It's been a good matchup so far. Both clubs getting after each other here. High fly ball. Second base, Ramirez. Underneath it should have a routine grab. The out's recorded. Moeller gets out of the deal. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. 6-4, national team. We'll be right back. We're ready to go here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Trey Lawrence back in the box, ready to go. Pitch on the way. Lawrence looks at a strike. The count is 0-1. Helton will work ahead in the count. Lawrence was at bat when Blaylock tried to steal, so that ended the half inning. And a ball pulled foul to the third base side. The count's 0-2. So the Prospects national team here, they'll go four, five, six here in the bottom of the fifth. Ball's upstairs, fastball, the count goes to one and two. And a ball's low on the inside part of the plate. Just missing on the inner half. The count goes even to two and two. Fastball upstairs. Helton lets it fly. The count goes full to three and two. So Lawrence with a three two count. Trey trying to get on board. High fly ball to the left side. Left fielder makes a move towards the fence line. That's out of play. So the 3-2 count holds for Lawrence. We're in the bottom of the fifth. It's a 6-4 match. National team leading here. Helton to deal. The 3-2 pitch. And hit by pitch there. So Lawrence will wear that one. Uh, Trey will get on board 90 feet the hard way. And finds himself down the line. So Lawrence gets on board. And Brody Taylor will step in. Curveball missing there. Taylor making an adjustment in the batter's box, kind of moving out of the way. Good movement, though, for Helton. 
Lawrence has got good speed. Lawrence, a triple today. And out and now hit by pitch. Brody Taylor, single and a walk. Taylor, first base side, foul. So the count goes even to one and one. Lawrence, good lead. And we're holding him on. Helton with a long look. Takes a look over at first. A long hold here. Pitch on the way. Runner goes. And the ball gets away. A pass ball. So Lawrence will get in 90 feet. Standing up there. And the count is 2 one. Helton with a spin move, didn't throw over to second. Wisdom in tight on Lawrence. In the shortstop position for the Southeast Club, he shuffles out. Ball swung on, fouled off to the left field side and out of play. So a 2-2 count to the right fielder, number 27, Brody Taylor. Trey Lawrence over on the second base side. Lawrence got on board, hit by pitch. Slow roller, shortstop side. It's going to be a long throw. A one hopper is in time. But Lawrence will move over to third. And a good defensive play for Wisdom from the shortstop side. The runner moves over. And they get their first down. The Dre Murakami will step in. Murakami ready to go here, Helton. Still from the stretch. Lawrence on the third base side, scoring opportunity. Murakami takes a cut, fouls it off. A 1-1 count to Murakami. Fastball up and in. The count goes to 2-1 and one on Murakami. Fly ball, off the mound, Helton will make the play there. He's under the ball, and the grab is made. Murakami would like to have that one, so the easy out there on the fly straight up to Cotter Helton, the pitcher. Two outs on the books with Lawrence parked at third. Brings up Aaron Ramirez. Prospects trying to capitalize here in the bottom of the fifth with a scoring opportunity, and Lawrence at third. And fastball in for the strike. Ramirez takes a look. Count is 0-1. That goes to 1-1. One and one.
Ramirez, center field, it's shallow. That could drop in, shortstop. Wisdom makes a good grab and saves the run. The national team will strand one in Lawrence. We'll head to the top of the six at 6'4", six ZT national team. So time expired. Coach Tyler looking for an explanation. The ZT Prospects 13U national team win this one 6-4. Time expired. And the last batter before the out was made, the time had expired and the pitcher was in the middle of his pitch. So the clock burned there from what I understand. So nonetheless, they'll shake hands. Two ZT organizations. Congratulations to Coach Tyler and the Southeast Club putting together a fine program here in this area. And of course, the ZT Prospects 13U national team under the direction of Coach Carlos Avio. They're all brothers in arms there, shaking hands. These guys know each other. They've played together. And the ZT Southeast Club, a good finish here. Getting to the quarterfinals, the 2024 Perfect Game Super Regional NIT. Chris Aller for the ZT Baseball Organization and Perfect Game. The Prospects national team will move on to the semifinals. That's coming up next. Stay with us, folks. We'll have it live for you. For now, the Prospects will move on to the semis.